brace yourselves as winter is coming. And with that, here are eight of the biggest things ever discovered that were trapped in ice. Number eight, a fox ice cube. Animal lovers will be sad to learn of this, but the facts are out there. This fox perished in an unbelievable way. Most people's common sense would say that findings in ice are usually just extinct animals from tens of thousands of years ago, like woolly mammoths or mastodons. Surprisingly, it turns out that even animals as casual and common as the simple fox can share the fate that befell his ancient ancestors. Apparently, being a cutie is not going to prevent any creature from suffering such a tragic death. Even after defrosting the fox, he sadly won't be alive. If, for a second, you thought that the process of hibernation might work here to save this pitiful fox, the truth is that this animal is long gone. I'd like to help broaden your knowledge about this phenomenon. Hibernation is an inactive state resembling deep sleep, in which certain animals living in cold climates pass the winter. So it basically means that their body temperature drops and their breathing and heart rate slow down so they don't use too much energy and don't need too much food when it's scarce. Being frozen alive is something totally different entirely, and many animals have suffered this fate when they've fallen into icy rivers and drowned before the river froze in place and encased them in a frigid tomb. This particular specimen was found by a German hunter who decided to put the finding in front of his hotel. It's quite an eccentric way of decorating any place, but there is no accounting for taste, so let's not be judgmental. If you have a better idea what you would do with this finding, you are more than welcome to comment on this video. Let me know what you think. Would you donate it to a museum? It is a very memorable landmark. While you're thinking about that, remember, subscribe if you haven't already. There are lots of amazing videos coming out all the time right here on The Biggest, and you won't want to miss them. Number seven, a Swiss couple. On August 15th, 1942, Marcelina and Francine Dumoulin went to milk their cows high in an alpine field in southwestern Switzerland. They left seven of their children in the house to go for this routine chore, but they never came back. For the next two months, the search for the missing couple continued. In the meantime, the kids were split up and placed with several local families as foster children while the search for their parents continued. Of course, this sounds like the perfect beginning of a crime story, but who could be to blame? Well, it's not a crime story, and there's no culprit this time. The couple was found 75 years later in July 2017, when during a routine inspection tour, a ski lift technician for a Swiss adventure resort found what he thought was a collection of black rock. It was easy to tell that the finding is from the 1940s because of the clothes the couple was wearing and a DNA test confirmed that it was indeed Marcelina and Francine Dumoulin. One of their seven children, Marceline Udry Dumoulin, said she is relieved knowing what finally happened with her parents. She climbed the glacier three times to find them, but the technician was more lucky than she. It's just a shame he was 75 years too late. Number six, a World War II plane. In July 1942, Two B-17 bombers and six P-38 fighters were en route from the United States to Great Britain via Greenland and Iceland. After encountering a severe snowstorm, all eight planes were forced to make an emergency landing in southeast Greenland. The pilots were rescued, but the planes were abandoned and eventually buried beneath years of accumulating snow and ice. These airplanes were sadly never touched again, though the ice did keep them from getting destroyed. They became something of an unplanned museum deep under the ice sheets of Greenland for 50 years. It's quite a sad story, especially for aviation lovers, but there is a happy ending. One of the P-38 airplanes was actually recovered in August 1992 from under the ice and was restored to flight-worthy status. That's no joke. The airplane was recovered from more than 260 feet of ice that had accumulated over 50 years and was restored to the skies once again. After this glamorous comeback, people dubbed the machine Glacier Girl, and the plane became quite famous, at least famous enough to earn a place in the list of biggest icebound discoveries. Number five, fish eating fish. 
This might not be the biggest, but it is for sure the weirdest thing found in Cased in Ice, and I just couldn't skip it. If you look carefully, you will see an impressive display of a fish eating another fish. What a beautiful moment that could never be generated anywhere else but by Mother Nature. Even the best photographers can be envious of this perfect shot. The finding was made by two brothers during a fishing trip in Indiana. There are a few theories as to how these fish met their fate. The most likely scenario is that the pike tried to eat the bass, but eventually choked on it and died. Then both of them became frozen in a chilly river and were preserved for a photographer to capture this grisly scene. This tragic death is kind of poetic and makes me feel melancholic about the circle of life. If there is any lesson we can learn from this situation, it is for sure to not be too greedy so we don't choke, and make sure not to let your eyes get bigger than your stomach. Number four, woolly mammoth. Okay, we've seen airplanes, foxes, fishes, even humans, but we all know what we are here for when we talk about animals trapped inside ice. Without further delay, I present to you none other than a powerful and majestic woolly mammoth. Of course, this one looks pretty scary, but I must disappoint you because the one that the researchers found is quite a bit smaller. But we all know that you can't always judge an animal by its size, and this female mammoth is the best preserved specimen ever found. Her body was in a Siberian tomb, and scientists assume that she died 39,000 years ago. Experts who found the female mammoth in May 2013 also discovered a sample of its blood inside ice beneath the carcass, which scientists claim may be used to regrow one of the animals, which last walked the Earth around 4,000 years ago. These tests will reopen the debate over the morality of Jurassic Park-style projects to restore extinct creatures to the planet. The eventual plan is to plant an implanted egg into a live elephant for a 22-month pregnancy. However, some scientists insist it will be impossible to create the same mammoths as the ones that once roamed the Earth. Number 3. Notosaur. Okay, let's go back 110 million years ago, the third and final geological period of the Mesozoic Era, which is also the time that dinosaurs walked the Earth, is known as the Cretaceous Period. When we think of the Cretaceous, we usually note it as being the last portion of the Age of Dinosaurs before a massive extinction event 65 million years ago ended their reign and ushered in the Pleistocene Period. But today, we are lucky enough to discover a specimen from this prehistoric time, one that remains sitting peacefully fossilized and encased in ice since actual dinosaurs walked the Earth. Please welcome the Notosaur. This unique fossil was found in Alberta, Canada in 2011. One of the researchers at Royal Tyrell Museum said that it will go down in science history as one of the most beautiful and best preserved dinosaur specimens, the Mona Lisa of dinosaurs. The preservation was so good that researchers were able to find out the dinosaur's skin color. By using mass spectrometry techniques, researchers detected pigments on the scales of the dinosaur. Apparently, the notosaur's coloring was a dark reddish brown on the top of the body and lighter on the underside. When the notosaur was alive, it was an enormous four-legged herbivore protected by a spiky plated armor and weighed in at approximately 3,000 pounds. I just keep my fingers crossed that this one is not going to be reproduced like the mammoth, or we will have a real-life version of Jurassic Park on our hands. How could anyone ever survive a stampede of these living tanks? It would be the greatest danger to humanity ever. Number two, the blood falls. If you think you've seen a lot, and few things shock and surprise you anymore, you might rethink that opinion after seeing this weird discovery. When Antarctic explorers first discovered a cliff stained with blood-red water in 1911, they assumed that red-hued algae was responsible for the color. The place quickly became known as Blood Falls, although it turned out to be neither blood nor algae. In fact, Blood Falls is the result of slowly oozing, iron-rich salt water that oxidizes in contact with air, just like rust. The water is so salty, it's more accurately described as brine but it looks like the Earth itself is bleeding from a massive wound in its ice cap. 
For sure, we can say it shows how beautiful nature is, but unfortunately, nearly all of us will never be able to see this place anywhere else but on the internet. Blood Falls can be reached only by helicopter from McMurdo Station, Scott Base, or a cruise ship from the Ross Sea. To see these gruesome falls, it's best to apply for an internship or lead a research expedition. But that only makes me more interested in seeing it for myself. Number 1. Sabertooth Tiger Smilodons, or saber-tooth cats, are an extinct group of big cats, with huge canines flattened and serrated like knife blades. Their teeth are essentially holding steak knives in their mouth. If they were still around, they would be the perfect specimens to spend time with a real-life Tiger King. The bone found in Alberta is estimated to be 35,000 to 40,000 years old, from the Pleistocene Epoch, thankfully before there were humans in the area. They had a shorter and stockier build than lions and tigers to better pin their prey down and prevent struggles that might break their teeth. Despite its huge canine tooth, saber-toothed tigers had a weak bite force, only one-third of the bite force of modern lions. However, its jaws were able to stretch to 120 degrees, two times more than the jaws of a lion. The exact lifespan of the saber-toothed tiger is unknown. Scientists believe that it was able to survive 20 to 40 years. And during that time, there's no question that it terrorized the ecosystem around it. Could you imagine fighting one of these beasts with nothing more than rocks and spears at your disposal? I'm astonished that cavemen ever made it at all. Thank you for watching. If you like this episode, please remember to subscribe and you'll get to stay updated about the new videos. If you want to see any particular list of the biggest things in the world, comment and let me know right now below the video.